The following demonstration will show New South Wales commercial spanner crab quota species fishes how to submit a linked postland fishing activity report using Fisher Mobile. This demonstration assumes a spanner crab quota preland report has previously been submitted for your fishing business as required by the fishing activity reporting rules for your fishery. To lodge a postland report for your previously submitted preland report, tap on the activity report icon on the home screen to access the fishing activity reporting menus. If only one fishing business, the fishing activity options are automatically displayed for selection. Otherwise, from the bar on the left hand side, tap on the fishing business number containing your relevant Ocean Trap and Line endorsement to select it. For fishers with more than one business, each fishing business number in the side banner is labelled to assist with identifying the type of business. For example, multi for ocean trap and lime. Once the fishing business is selected, the activity reports relevant to that fishing business will be displayed. At the top of this screen, fishers can identify the type of fisheries the business is endorsed for. In this example, this business contains ocean trap and lime and you will see the fishery OTL displayed. Move down the screen and locate the postland report tile. An option to create a postland report from the preland report you submitted earlier should be available. The date and time the preland report was created will be shown along with the species that were reported by you in that preland report. If you have more than one of these options in this tile, you will need to select the one you now need to complete from the information displayed. Tap on Create to create the linked postland report. The quota species court screen is displayed showing the fishing business number with the date and time the preland report was submitted. The species reported in your submitted preland will display a tick. This business only has the one reportable quota species, Ocean Trap and Line Spanner Crab. Notice that it has been greyed out so that it cannot be unselected or removed. Tap on the forward arrow button to proceed to the next step. Tap into the quota usage field and enter the validated catch weight in kilograms to one decimal place. In this example, 30.3 kilos is entered. Tap on the forward arrow button to proceed to the next step. This screen displays the quota usage amounts that will be deducted from the quota regimes based on entries made for the selected species. Now enter your landing location. Tap into the location type field and select from either landing location or lat long degree minute options. Both of these options will be demonstrated. Select landing location and this will display the location code field. If known, the location code can be entered directly into this field. If the location code is not known, you can search for the location by entering the location name. In this example, Ballina and the code is selected from the available list. Or to enter the landing location type in latitude and longitude format, select the lat long degree minute option. The coordinates of your landing location can be entered directly into the displayed fields if known. If you are at your anticipated landing location and your mobile device has GPS location services enabled, you can tap on the current location button to auto populate your latitude and longitude fields. If you are not in the location where you anticipate landing, do not use this feature. For this example, the landing location option will be used. Options to delete and go back to amend are also available. Tap on the forward arrow button to submit the report. A confirmation message will be displayed. Read this confirmation message and note confirming that this post land report will deduct the quota usage amount in kilos and the available quota balances are also displayed prior to the deduction. Tap on the confirm button. A receipt message is displayed stating that your post land report has deducted the quota amounts in kilograms and a transaction ID reference number. Your new available quota balances for each species reported are also displayed. 
tap on the OK button to return to the home screen. If you return to the Fishing Activity Report screen for the fishing business, you will now notice that the Postland Report tile has updated to show that you no longer have a pending pre-land report awaiting post-land report completion. To return to the home screen, tap on the home icon. You have just viewed a demonstration on how to submit a Spanner Crab Quota post-land report using Fisher Mobile. For more video demonstrations on the functions and use of Fisher Mobile, visit the Fisher Online website.